all right everyone welcome back uh, in this chapter i will show you how to set up a video lighting in this scene and as well we will fix the material as per our requirement or as per our scene setup all right like the concrete it's very shiny like there is lots of specular in this and our light is coming from this part why and how I recognize that because there is some shadow so there is a light coming from this way and this way from here you can see over there there should be a window from this side so the light coming from this direction <coughs> right so first we will connect the materials and apply the UVW on on this all right all right let's check so i'll set the ground one because then it's actually i think 500 mm is okay for this all right now for my concrete, setting up the thousand would be okay and I'm going to copy this and apply on this as a instance each instance on this as a each instance all right and it's already applied here to the account to the end this should be changed all right guys i applied this on all over the walls so i can tweak that very easily now i want some gray feel and a little bit of texture shades on my wall so i'm going to convert this diffuse color as a gray like this and my texture should be going to fade around 50 so this way you can see our little bit of texture all right and i want very less reflection so i'm going to turn off the fresnel reflection and is my reflection should be around 30 20 five. <coughs> right i'm sorry and, and convert this to as a war so the reflection going to spread on over the wall and you can increase the sub dim so we can easily achieve the very good effect on the wall or you can use the using interpolation so it will make your material more smoother but maybe it will take another pass in your rendering setting all right so i need to downgrade more of the reflection then would be okay all right and everything is set over here i just need to put my light over here and over here so i'm just going to take the rough testing just turn on your gi 
set the gradients map and the light cache I'm going to use the light cache system you set up the very low setting at this stage because I want to make my render very quickly all right so this I'm using this setting you can use the cat moon rom for the more sharp an image or you can use the area filter so it will render very quickly I'm just changing the maximum subdues to one for quick output result and I need exponential cube because I'm using the day scene so that's I'm using exponential color mapping all right and in my PDA physical camera I'm just going to turn up that exposure because it will automatically control your lighting and I don't want to control my lighting automatically I want to control this myself all right and you can choose the white balance over here which kind of scene you are using you can see the daylight or the neutral like I will change this to daylight and here is my rendering <coughs> right I just place a one real light for just for general testing and it's visible all over here alright it's looking good now what I need to do is I need to convert my texture towards more lighter color because it's looking very dark over here like black right and here is my area lights I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to put another new one to showing you how it will work this is my light and I'm going to turn this over here like this I need some hole in my wall so that way we can achieve a realistic effect from this way alright like the window it's it shows something is there like a window alright so this is the wall and this is my wall alright I'm going to create a box over here and I'm going to boolean or boolean from this part just make the two holes in our wall should be like this make that invisible if it's visible so you will see the white patch somewhere in your rendering all right sorry so we just place two light in our scene now I'm going to render this It's looking very smooth over here so we need to increase the intensity of our lighting all right 
and you can see the lighting effect over here and here here because of the lighting coming from this way but it's showing very dark from this side so we will do something here first I want to increase the lighting to 60 alright so we will get more ambience in our scene Now we need some thing. We need to increase the dark multiplier. No, go to down the dark multiplier so we can get some lighting over here. All right. It's my gamma correction, so I'll just get this image over here. You can turn off your gamma if you do not want to use gamma setting. Just turn off the gamma over here, alright, and the here. So you will get the this result, alright. But we prefer the gamma correction because you will get uh, better out output from the gamma correction. You can see there is some lighting and without gamma, it's, it's not, it's a very contrasty scene. There is too much contrast in our rendering. All right. Now this is more perfect. All right. Look at this over here. To increase the size of my wall texture, so I'm just first I wanna viewport clipping here. All right, this is my wall, so I'm going to increase the size. It's around 3500, 2500. That would be okay. Right. Four to eight. Ten to nine ninety four. So we will get some reflection over over there on our wall. And I need to pull this over here because it's very close from our objects. So I need to move this over here. All right. Now I'm going to test our scene on a good quality, like six or minimum subdivisions is two and maximum subdivisions is six. It will increase your rendering time. So 
use as per your requirement the default value is 1 by 4 so that will be okay if you want to follow that render the random setting all right 